I have my mic on. Hi, Monica. Hi, Zach. How are you guys? Hi, What's Tyra. up, Mr. Zebka? Not much, buddy. What's up with you? Nothing much. Just, you know, chilling. Oh, okay. I figured as much. Yeah. You always look pretty chill to me. There you are. What is your, what's your hat signify? Huh? What does your hat signify? Like the diamond? Is that like a brand? Yeah. Okay. I'm old, you know, so I don't know. The well, I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. I just saw it. I was like, that's pretty fire. So I got it. Oh, yeah. Totally fire. <laughs> I'm trying to talk like you. It's not working. I'm not as cool. No, I, I, you're doing pretty good. You're doing pretty good. <laughs> oh, you're so funny. Okay, well, hopefully, oops, somebody's writing something to me in the chat. I gotta get in there. What is it? What are they saying? Oh, Tyra, hi. Yes, hi. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, everybody. Good to see your faces. Well, some of your faces, anyway. Nally, are you with me today? Yes, not. All right, spend two minutes. I think that's plenty of time. So if you guys could just give me a greeting in the chat, that would be a swell or an emoji or something like that. I would appreciate it. And then I'm going to go ahead and open your uh, warm up for today. It was off the Ed Puzzle video from um, the last time we were together. Let me open it up here. All right. So you're going to do N1. How much sodium does 2,300 milligrams of sodium equal? The video talked about it. Hopefully you can remember or make a good educational guess. What did the video say? Got about a minute left, try to finish up. Twenty seconds. Try to finish up. I think I forgot to present my screen. Did you guys hear the question? I did not. I wasn't paying attention. I'm sorry. Okay. The question was how much sodium does 2300 milligrams of sodium equal and it was from the video so hopefully you remember does anyone remember that one you can put it in the chat if you want anybody remember what does 2300 milligrams equal it is a kitchen utensil measurement Yes, Jenna, it's a it was a teaspoon actually. One teaspoon of salt. Um you can use the chat if you'd like. Um hold on, I'm can only see so many of you. Okay. So um 
Well, how much sugar does an average teenager consume? Can you tell me that? Do you remember that? Or a roundabout, how much sugar a teenager consumes? Uh, nope. <laughs> Um, it equals out to be about 440 calories, and um, you're only supposed to get less than 10%, which is 200 calories coming from that. Um, do you remember what they talked about, how many children are overweight or adolescents are overweight? Do you remember? One out of three. Yep, good job. And then do you remember how many adults are overweight or obese? In the United States? Close. Uh, two thirds. And then, um, do people your age need to be worried about what they eat? Like what they eat and how much they eat? Do you guys need to be worried about that? Okay, good. All right, good. All right, so. Um, we're going to go through some notes today, and I will be putting these in Quizlet form so that we can recap them and review them before our test. Um, in Google Classroom, I have a guided notes that I want you guys to do. I typically uh, grade those just for participation that you followed along and went through it. If I go too fast or um, for whatever reason, remember, I'll always have the video in the live stream. So you can go back and, you know, pause me. You can, you know, speed it up, um, whatever you need if I go too fast for the notes, okay? But I will ask for those to be turned in. Um, I do have the deadline for Friday. If I'm pretty sure we'll get through them. But if not, um, we will always, I will always be able to push it back if I, if I need to, okay? All right. So they go right along with the notes, and they're in Google Classroom. I'm going to present my screen here so you guys can see where to find them. Okay, so they're Are in you talking about the dietary guidelines? Yes, that's okay. what I'm talking about. Thank you. I probably should have put notes on there. I can change that. I thought I did... Um, I thought I put guided notes on there, but I guess I didn't. So let me let me fix that. That will help everybody find them a little bit easier. There we go. Okay, so they're guided notes. You just have to open them. I left blank, so you just have to fill them out, and that'll be helpful when we take the test because you can just pull those up and have them right there while you are going through some of your test questions, okay? But I'm going to open my PowerPoint. I'm going to go through... Uh, just a portion of the PowerPoint today because I did a um, a demo on a quick healthy breakfast. It's not super lengthy at all. Um, it shouldn't take you maybe but 15 minutes. The video is maybe four minutes long. <laughs> and then um, I have an assignment that I, it's kind of a project that we're going to do and I'm not going to ask for it to be turned in until next week on Wednesday. So you do have quite a bit of time to be working on it. Um, and so just keep that in mind for like what we're doing today and what's up and coming, okay? So is there, if you had trouble finding it, maybe Tyra, you could let me know if somebody puts, can't find it in the chat or something like that so I know that uh, someone's having difficulty. Or if you can, you know, if you kind of follow along with what I'm saying and you can answer the question, that would be great too. All right, so, uh, we're going to talk about the nutritional guidelines. We did the Ed Puzzle yesterday, which was great. Okay, so um, there typically are five dietary guidelines. Um, in one of my last slides, you're going to learn that they're revised about every five years. So right now, the dietary guidelines go from 2015 to 2020. And so next year when I teach this course, I'm going to have to revamp them all because they would come out with a new set of five. They usually are real, real similar. Some may change, some may not change, but it just kind of depends. Um, in my diagram, or my, sorry, in my slides, I think I tried to underline the words that you needed to write in on the document that you're working on. So hopefully uh, you can find that helpful. Um, 
So the first dietary guideline, guideline is to follow a healthy eating pattern across the lifespan. So basically what that's saying is that your choices matter. Um, you need to choose uh, healthy eating patterns with appropriate calorie levels to help achieve and maintain a healthy body weight. And also eat a wide variety because you need to, um, you know, have nutrients within your diet as well. And the more different foods that you eat, the more variety, um, the more nutrient dense or the more nutrients that will be in that food. And we know that, you know, the leading cause of death in the United States is heart disease. And that is going to stem from lifestyle choices. Okay, so hopefully you can make the connection from what we did last time to how this unit kind of just plays right into that. All right, so Tyra, I'm going to use you as my person. Are you ready to move on to the next slide? Yes, I am. And if you aren't, then, you know, just put wait or something in the chat, and then Tyra can um, let me know that I need to pause. But remember, I am videoing this. so. Okay, so this just kind of shows, we've looked at something similar to this before, but it shows what calories you should be consuming um, for your activity level. So that's going to be a good indicator if you are actually eating according to what you should be for the um, activity. Okay, so the second one is to focus on variety, nutrient dense, and amounts. So to meet nutrient needs, you need to stay within your calorie limits. Uh, you need, like I said, choose a variety. Nutrient dense means like there's a lot of vitamin A, B, C, iron, um, potassium. I mean, all of those nutrients are represented there. So like, here's just a really good example. If I had a baked potato in my hand and I had french fries in the other, you know, which one is nutrient dense? And that's a question to you. I have a potato in one hand, I got fries in the other one. Which one is nutrient dense? Which one has the most nutrients in it? What do you think? You can put it in the chat and Tyra can tell me, or you can just unmic and just give me a simple verbal would be great. Connor said potato. Okay, thank you. All right, so um, it's gonna have a lot more nutrients in it than fries because as soon as you hit fries in that boiling, scorching heat, all the nutritional value has been zapped out of it. Okay, so French fries, I love them. They're like my biggest uh, kryptonite, if you will, um, but they don't have any nutritional value. Okay, all the, the oil is so hot, and the oil in general um, is going to zap all the nutrients that they did have out. Okay. All right. Um, so, I do have a little bit of a link on nutrient dense I want to show you, but basically to define that word, and this, I don't think this is in your, it might be in your notes, I can't remember, but um, it's basically a food that provides vitamins and minerals and other beneficial substances with relatively few calories. So in the video I, I made you guys, I, um, I made a egg this morning with spinach, and I showed you guys the food label, there's 20 calories in three cups of spinach. You know, I mean, that's a lot. And you only are getting 20 calories, that's insane. Okay, but that just shows how nutrient dense uh, leaf, leafy spinach is, okay? So I wanna show you this link, it's probably gonna, let's see what it does, okay. So let me just pause this for one second, cause you know I have to go out of here Oh, okay, hold that thought. I have to go out of here, open a new window, and then I have to present that. So give me one second to do that. Wish it was easier, it just isn't. Nolly, are you in the house? Just checking to see if she's with us or not. Okay, so this is just a little snip on and it'll probably take a second components and food that the body needs that was my fault to grow and maintain healthy function basically the body needs nutrients to survive there are six classifications of nutrients carbohydrates which are mainly energy for cellular function 
proteins whose primary function is to grow and maintain tissue and build other important chemicals in the body, fats which provide energy and protection, vitamins which contribute to important functions in the body, minerals which also contribute to bodily functions, and water which makes up about 60% of body weight. It's important to recognize that all six nutrients are important for healthy function, with nutrient balance being the key. A great strategy to finding nutrient balance is to eat a wide variety of foods and avoid eating the same foods every day. Consuming fruits, veggies, and other nutrient-dense foods can help accomplish this. Nutrient-dense foods are often defined as foods that provide a lot of nutrients while not containing a high calorie count. So let's look at an example. Say you are craving something sweet. Option one is a glazed donut which contains 190 calories and provides 8% of the RDI for vitamin C and a small amount of calcium and iron. Option two is a cup of raspberries, which provides 64 calories and is high in vitamin C, manganese, vitamin K, and copper. Raspberries also contain smaller amounts of many other vitamins and minerals. And they're loaded with antioxidants, phytonutrients, and eight grams of fiber, which helps with digestion. As you can see, far less calories and many more nutrients which equals a much healthier option. And that is the basics on nutrients. When school isn't a place you have to be. Okay, so that was just a little snippet into nutrient dense. I thought maybe they could explain it a little bit better than maybe I can, or some people are more visual. So hopefully that helped if you are more visual. Um. All right, so Tyra, are you able to keep up with your uh, guided notes? Yeah. Okay, great. All right, perfect. And if you're not, then just put in the chat that you are struggling struggling a little bit, and then I can assist you. But I can't know unless you help me. All right. So the next dietary guidelines, I think we're up to number three now, is to limit calories from added sugar and saturated fat and to reduce sodium intake. So, you know, added sugars are things that, you know, are in a lot of food products already, um, or you add them to something like your cereal or something along those lines. Uh, saturated fat is the bad fat. It's the one that's solid at room temperature. So like, for example, if I was making spaghetti tonight, and I cooked up the hamburger and I drained the grease off and just let it kind of cool on the counter, it would become solid, okay? And if you think about that in terms of how it goes in your body, you know, it's, it's not a good fat. You know, if it sits on the counter and it can get solid, what's it doing into your arteries and veins, okay? So that's why saturated fat is not good. Sodium is also... Um, you know, you get that if you eat out a lot, um, a lot of restaurants, you know, salt things, they come into their establishment already salted. So you're just compo compounding the sodium. A lot of uh, pre-made foods, like if you were to buy soup in a can or, um, you know, you like your ramen noodles or any type of noodle that comes in a package that you can just add like water or you know, something to it and then, you know, cook it up really quick. Those have a lot of sodium. So um, just encourage you to kind of look at those food labels as you purchase things and know what 2,300 uh, milligrams of sodium is. And, you know, you guys are probably eating far more than that than you realize. And then kind of cut back on your beverages. Like I, at your age, I'm honestly, I was a pop drinker and um, I was probably a pop drinker up until my daughter was in middle school and she um, was doing, I don't even know why, but came across what's in, what's in pop. And she was reading that and um, she decided that, you know, that wasn't any of the things that she wanted in her body. And so she stopped. And then I just kind of followed suit. And so um, I don't drink pop anymore. I, I think it's, you know, something that my family, when I was growing up, had in the house. I can remember every Sunday night we got pizza and pop. And I know that seems really weird, but I'm old, remember. Um, and you know, it didn't, it wasn't something we always had in the house, but you know, as you get older, you're like, Hey, I can go out and get a pop if I want. And I don't have to ask anybody's permission and I don't have to, um, you know, wait for it to come into the household. And so I just started drinking pop and I, my drink, my pop of choice was diet. 
And so, um, you know, that was just the choice I made, but water is the best option. You know, it's a good hydrator. It doesn't have any added sugars or anything in it that are going to be bad for you. And of course, having a pop once in a while isn't going to kill you. Okay. But if you're drinking pop at every sitting or something along those lines, it could be, you know, a bad habit to kind of get started in. And those calories, you know, they always say don't drink your calories. You know, you need calories to come from foods that are going to give you good energy and not foods that are going to be, um, you know, a bad type of energy for you. You're not presenting. Oh, dang it. Oh, you were so sweet. You were waiting for me to stop talking, weren't you, Tyra? Yeah, I didn't want to disrupt. Oh, that was too nice. Okay, sorry. Thank you for telling me, though. I swear I can't. All these bells and whistles, you just can't. Okay, so this is what I just went over. Um, I know you are all listening, right? So I think I underlined the words that you needed for that segment. So um, I'll just wait for Tyra to tell me that she has them. And then I'll use her as my um, way of moving on. Sorry about that. I forget there's like all these things I have to push and change and oh boy. Oh my, oh me, oh my. Yeah. I finished, but I typed fast, so I don't know if everyone okay. else got All it. Right. I, how about I give um, another 30 seconds, and then I'll move on so everybody can um, catch up. How you doing, Zach? Am I going too fast for you? No, I got done like right when she said she was done, so. Oh, perfect. Okay, awesome. Thank you. All right, so I think we're up to number four now, if I can remember correctly. So you wanted a shift to healthier food and beverage choices, so kind of a spin on what was the other one, but you want that nutrient-dense foods, you want um, beverages, food and beverages across and within all food groups to be uh, a place of healthy choices. And consider cultural and personal preferences to make your shift easier. So we do have, um, you know, different ethnicities out there and they are eating different types of food. But you still want to stick to um, the my plate and thinking of, you know, that half of your plate is fruits and vegetables. And then the division of the meats and the grains and then the milk. So you always want to remember that. That one was an easy one. Okay, um, and then support healthy eating patterns for all. So everyone has a role in helping to create and support health, healthy eating patterns in multiple settings nationwide. And it can start right at your home. It can go all the way to school and even to work. So, you know, you guys have the ability to influence, um, you know, and as you age, you'll have your own children to influence. So just promoting those things, I would say, you know, when my kids were little, I definitely made sure that they got their fruits and vegetables, grains, dairies, and meats. And I was, you know, pretty adamant about that. But as they've aged, you know, they become a little bit more picky and, you know, like certain things, don't like certain things. So as you get older, it's a little bit more of a struggle as a parent. And I'm speaking from that point of view. But again, you also need to take control of your own health and find alternatives that will be, you know, a better choice. You know, maybe your parent is making something for dinner that's not your cup of tea. But when you choose an alternative, it should also fall along the same lines of something healthy, you know, whether it be a fruit or vegetable or something like that. So um, you can have different tastes. And, you know, everybody does, but try to stay within the parameters of healthy eating. 
at school, I know you all at, are at school, you know, not at school right now, but when you are at school, um, you know, the cafeteria does have to abide by state laws when it comes to what they're providing you. What you choose, again, is totally in your realm of control, but they always have to supply students with the five food groups, okay? Yes, they might have other things that aren't as good um, all alternatives, but you know, again, these, these are things that you need to learn and develop how to make good choices for yourself, you know, just for your future health. All right. And then the last slide, I think, on this, and Tyra, you'll have to correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this is your last piece on physical activity, which means that you need to be active for at least 60 minutes every day. And that's your age group, you know, for an adult, um, you know, th at least 30 minutes. Um, at least three to four days of the week, if not seven, um, would be the best recommendation. And then um, I just threw in there at the end, because I think that's a test question <clears throat> about how uh, these guidelines are reviewed every five years. So we're coming up on a review just so you know. And I think that's where that guided notes ends. Am I correct on that, Tyra? Yes. Okay, perfect. So what I'd like you to do is just turn those in. I can give you points for being here today and for following along. It's also gonna be a nice tool to use when it comes to the test because you can just have that and be able to use it as a resource. So that's awesome. I wanna talk to you now about the upcoming assignment that you are gonna have to turn in next Wednesday, okay? So that's where I'm going with this right now. Okay, now, if you want, uh, whoops, I just opened the wrong thing, but <laughs> let me get out of this for a second. Um, oh no, I did open the right thing, whoopsie. Sorry. Okay, so, what I want you to know about this, if you want to, you can um, work with somebody else on this. You could do it together because it's going to require you to do a little reading. And once it falls in, okay. If you look at it, and I think I'm still presenting, um, it's called Breakfast, the Most Important Meal of the Day. And you're going to open that, and I'm going to run through it, so uh, peek your ears up here so that you can follow along. All right. So you guys are going to read the article, and those are down here. I've put the articles in order of last name. So, like, um, Zach, your last name starts with an H, right? Yeah. Okay. So, Zach... If he's going to do it by himself, he's going to do the article on what happens when you skip breakfast. And then Tyra, what's your last name start with? Isn't it a B? B. Okay. So Tyra would read why breakfast is the most important meal of the day. And then um, let's say uh, Connor, are you here today? Connor Hess? Okay. Is Caden Reed here today? Okay, how about Jenna? So let's just say Jenna, I know you're here, but she's, because her last name is Vogel, she's going to read this last one, okay? All right, so basically you're going to read the article. You're going to make Google slide, Slides presentation that includes the following. The title and the author of the article five to seven important facts from the article, three to four pictures to represent three or four facts listed on the slide, and you will be presenting your slides orally in class, okay? Next Wednesday. So you are going, like if you wanna pair up, that's okay. So like if I was gonna pair up with Zach and it was him and I, and my last name starts with an R, um, we can either decide we're going to do what happens when you skip breakfast, or we can decide to do the many benefits of breakfast. 
Okay, so we have that choice because of our names. But if you're going to do it individually, then you need to choose the article that goes along with the letter of your last name. Okay, so now I just need someone to recap what I just said because I want to make sure that you understand what you need to do. Whoops. I got you. Okay, right, thank so you. Go, Zach. We read an article based on our last name, like the first letter, right? Yes. And then we do, like, we get some facts from that article and we get some pictures and stuff. And then we present them on uh, Wednesday. Yes. And you can work with somebody else if you choose to. But yeah. that means you would have to, like, you know, meet at the same time, be working on the same document and so on. Okay. Or you can do your own work. But if you are going to do work with someone else, your first uh, slide should be the name of the article and author and your names. Just so I know if you're choosing to do it with somebody else. And if you are going to do it with someone else, then you both have to have a speaking part. Okay. And remember, when you speak, we can't see you. All we can do is hear you. And that shouldn't be that intimidating, okay? So be willing to participate. So a portion of your score will be on your participation with that, your presentation. Um, so um, that is one of the assignments I want you to work on. And then um, the other thing that I'm gonna assign today is the demo. And it's like I said, it's like four minute clip. It's not really lengthy. But I wanted to give you guys a healthy breakfast and show you how easy it can be to just whip something up in like, I think this took me, like I said, four minutes. <laughs> so I want you, it's called Demo Quick Healthy Breakfast. Um, I have two tapes because I'm at home and my awesome camera that I use at school, I couldn't, I couldn't get, I couldn't get in. So there's two videos. There's the making of the healthy breakfast and then i just show you what it looks like at the end so you can kind of see that and it doesn't uh there's not a lot of ingredients and um the videos are really short like this is two minutes this is showing it's zero minutes but i bet you it's more like 10 seconds or something like that okay and here's your demo page so for till 12 25 you can either i can put you in a group with somebody if you want to group out, you can say, hey, Ms. Sebka, so and so and I are going to work together. Can you put us in a group? And I can kick you out into a group um, if that's something you want to start working on together right now. Or you can work on the demo page right now. But here's the thing. Demo pages are due Friday always. And your um, breakfast article is not due until next Wednesday. Okay, so you prioritize and figure out what you want to do. Okay, so is there anybody that knows that they are going to work on this um, breakfast article with someone at this point in time? Okay, so if you do figure it out, you know, just let me know. I can put you in a breakout room and um, we can go from there. Otherwise, I want you working until 1225 and then you are going to give me an exit um response whether it's an emoji whether it's you know see you later catch you wednesday or catch you next uh, tuesday or something like that okay so that's what i would need to know from you um so let me let me know if you decide to work with someone yeah zach go ahead um me and connor are going to be partners connor who uh gray connor gray okay um do you guys want me to throw you in a meeting so that you guys can talk about what and how you want to do it? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yep. So I will do that right now. I'm going to see if I can do it. Okay. So I don't know if this will work, Zach, but I'm going to try. Okay. Okay. I'm trying to figure this out. Connor Gray. Hmm. 
Okay, I think I got this. All right, and then Zach. Oh my gosh. I keep putting you in the group, Zach, and you keep flying back down in the bottom of the pack. Hold on. <laughs> oh gracious. It's crazy. Hmm. Still trying to get you there. Ah, finally. Okay. <laughs> they work. I got you. Hold on. I'm trying to, let's see. I'm trying to keep you in the main call and then I'm trying to send everybody else, but it won't let me. Hmm. All right. Hold on one second. I'm trying something. Still working. Okay. All right. So what I did is I kept you and Connor on the main call, and then I'm gonna suck everybody out into a different breakout room. But I'm gonna I'm gonna go join them, and then I'll just kind of check on you guys periodically. Okay. Ah, uh, sounds good to me. Okay. So everybody else, if you're listening, I'm going to suck you out and I'll join you guys in just a second. And um, Zach and Connor, you guys are going to stay in the main group. So, I mean, in your own group. So. And then Zach, if people are still here, it's probably because they're making a choice not to go or they're not, they're here physically, not mentally, if you get yeah. my drift. <laughs> so you guys can talk to each other. That's okay. Uh, okay. Man, all right. Oh, I gotta make a slideshow. Okay. I was about to ask if you wanted to make that or not. Yeah, I'll make it. All right. So, uh, what what thing we doing? What article we doing? Are we? Cause like your like yours is different than mine by a letter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Whatever you want to do. I'm Um, so yours is why breakfast is most important. Uh, what happens if when you skip breakfast? All right, so I mean, to me, both of them sound pretty cool, so I don't really Mine's care. What? Mine's the first one. Why is breakfast or why breakfast is the most important meal of the day? Yeah, do you want to do that one or do you want to do mine? Uh, it doesn't matter. We can do yours, I guess. Uh, All right, I'm making a slideshow. Right. Come on, why ain't nothing loading? All right, there we go. But why is it not loading? Gotta love school Chromebooks, dude. No, that's why I don't use mine because mine's slow. All 
All right, then how about how about you make the slideshow and then just share it to me? All right. All right, I'll be right back. Okay. All right, I'm back. Was I muted that whole time? What? Was I muted that whole time? Yeah, ever since I said I'm back. Oh. Well, I was talking to you and I said I shared it with you. Uh. Before anybody even did anything, I literally called out that Keon wasn't gonna be here. What happened? I said I, I said before anybody even left or anything when she said we were gonna put everybody else into the breakout rooms, I knew Keon wasn't gonna leave. <laughs> I called it even before she did anything. Uh it, it finally loaded. Okay. I I love the title of this slideshow, dude. What? Uh, it's my name. Oh, yeah. I did that because I had to put something there. But I changed it. Sorry. But I, I was just messing with you. Brady, why'd your face tell me what you want, fool? I'm doing this project with my homeboy, Connor. What? Oh, no. All right, well, I'll FaceTime you after this project, all right? All right, bro. All right, bye. All right, so we're doing what happens when you skip breakfast. All right, so then we got to read the article, duh, make a Google, okay, we did that. Title, author, five, seven facts about three to four pictures representing three to four facts listed on the slider. That's all I know how to spell your name. That's as far as I can go. Okay, wait, um, it's loading. <laughs> I oh okay 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 I see it. four letter five letters of your name that's all I could get Oops. now my uncle's calling me man everybody's calling me hello what are you doing I'm in class right now all right real quick plan on about seven o'clock coming upstairs with the computer we're gonna be working on some biology homework tonight. All right. So get your Xbox and then before seven. All right. We might as well. We only got a few more days. So we might as well catch you up. Bud. Okay. Did you talk to your Spanish teacher today? No. Okay. Can you or are you going to try tomorrow on open hours? No, it's tomorrow on office hours. Okay. All right. All right. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. You finally left. Yeah. <laughs> He probably got kicked for being idle for too long. <laughs> All right, what happens when you skip back first? All right. Oh, my goodness. What happened? Every time I turn off my phone, I get another notification. Dude, exactly. That's what just happened. My phone vibrated like six times. Like, I answer these two people on Snapchat, and then right when I shut off my phone, 
two more people texted me. All right, six things that can happen when you skip breakfast. All right, and then, all right, do you want to make like the slides? And I can, when I, so I can start reading and then you make the slides. So like make a slide for the title and then make another slide for facts and then make another slide for pictures where we can put the pictures with the facts. So yeah, never mind. Just make, just put pictures with all the slides. Are we doing one slide per fact? Or are we doing like all the facts on one slide? How many slides do we have to have? I don't think there's a certain number we have to have. Hi, guys. How's it going? It's going good. How about going you? Good. It's going good for me. All right. I just wanted to check on you. I had to, like, figure out how to get back into the main call. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, All is right. there limit or not necessarily a limit there's like... not really a limit just make sure you cover all the bases okay okay all right i'll check on you here in just a little bit okay all right so it doesn't matter to me we can do one slide or we can have like five slides we can do well yeah i guess it'd be better if we did all the slides like different slides because uh, yeah all right slide to, like, like us so then make one, six, uh, seven, eight, nine. All right, so make nine slides. Okay. In total or nine fact slides? Nine slides in total. There we go. It could slow down your metabolism. Well, that is pretty crazy. I need to start eating breakfast then. Dude, we can literally do six things that can happen. Dude, I could literally, it could slow down your metabolism. That's a fact already. That's absolutely amazing. You chose yeah, but how are we going to like describe the facts? Like what are the title going to be? Just like fact one, fact two, fact three, fact four, and fact five. Oh, okay. I get what you mean now. And then if we needed to, well, I could, I could just FaceTime you. I was going to say we could get in another Google Meet with your mom, but, you know, I could I have your phone number, so I could just be like, shoo. Yeah, but I don't have uh, – she's not here with me right now. She's at my sister's. I'm just saying, like, oh, okay, okay, I got you. But, like, one day if we don't, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'll remember these slides. Would we do? Would, would, oh my god! Would we just put like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or would we put like fact one, fact two, fact three? Probably fact one and fact two. You know stuff like that. Okay. All right. Would you, would you just put it like that? Fact space one. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I was gonna say. Do you All right, wanna... so I don't know if I have to like. I don't know. I think I think we gotta talk about it. I'm gonna. Yeah, we can just put out the facts and then. No, I'm saying like, do you want to send out the title too? Like we did the um, like this. Oh yeah, that, that yeah, that looks good. Eating shortly after you wake up can be beneficial. I mean, that's kind of a fact. Experts are divided. I right, found another fact. You can get headaches easily. What fact is this? Is this seven? I think we only need we only need a uh, five. 
But I'm saying put nine slides because then we got to put pictures. <gasps> no, we can just put pictures with the facts. I'm so stupid. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah, we only need seven slides. Wait, how does this? Oh. I mean five slides. We only need five facts. I skipped seven. That's why. I went from six to eight. I was like, why does this look so weird? That's why. It's probably because seven, eight, nine. So you don't like seven. <laughs> I'm so stupid. <laughs> All right. Only five it can times. have anti-aching. Wait, what? Eating breakfast could also. You what? Dude, if you eat breakfast in the morning, your life can your lifespan can extend. What? Depending on you can, eat. Dude, yeah. how can a meal make you die faster or live longer? <laughs> So we can delete this slide. Can delete this slide. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Delete. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hmm. All right, boom. Oh, we only need five slides in total? No, no, no. Just five facts. Oh, that's why I erased the titles for the other ones. We could just put, yeah. Eating. All right. Dang, this doesn't give us a lot of facts. Don't give us two. Probably because I got to read. I'm just copying head. <laughs> lines. Wait, how many things are there? So, uh, wait, cholesterols. What is that? Huh? Cholesterol? Yes, yeah, C O R T S I O L. Where is that at? It's, uh, it has waffles and some strawberry and whipped cream on it, and then it's... Oh. Cortisol? I don't know. I'm going to look it up now. And look up how to say it, too, because I don't know. Another term for hydro hydrocortisone. <laughs> oh my what? gosh. Like I'm supposed to know what that means. Wait, cholesterol is stasis something released in wait, what? Uh why are there so many big boy words? Are you guys doing okay? Yeah. I need to learn how to read though. I don't know how to read these big boy words. Oh, well, you need to get to be a big boy, so you might want to practice. Yeah. We already got two facts. Oh, good. Okay. Excellent. All right. Well, then I'm going to suck you guys back in about 23 just so we can say goodbye to each other, and then um, you'll be on your way, okay? All uh, right. Okay. Oh. Uh, I think I, I found out what it means. What'd you say? I said I think I found out what it means. What does it mean? Okay, you see the title and then you see the picture? Yes. The first sentence below it. That's what I was trying to read, but I didn't know how to say it. Oh, it was a steroid hormone released in response to stress. So it could lower your stress levels? I bet. bet, 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 bet. I guess. All right. Slide, fact three. Oh my goodness, can I not? <laughs> uh, okay, you can type. 
I can't. Uh, I'm, no, I'm just going to say it can't. Wait, I'm going to say breakfast. Break. <laughs> can lower. Oh my goodness, this is so <laughs> Wait, what? It can. Wait, breakfast can lower stress. Breakfast can lower stress, not your stress, just stress. Perfect. <laughs> Here, actually, let's make it more. Oh, I don't know how to say it. Decrease, decrease. Oh. Ooh, oh. I like that word, reduce. That sounds like I don't spell it right. I don't either. <laughs> reduce. <laughs> no. There we go. Or worst sentence, best sentence ever. Okay. Ow. I'm on Instagram. Uh, brain function might take a hit. So, breakfast, re oh, my screen's bright. Oh, crap. All right, factory. Oh, wait, we have oh, that. Oh, re energizes. Uh, I don't know, but I know, <laughs> I know it's one word. Re's not a word. So, it's. Let me say it into Siri. Re energizes. Oh, okay. So, hey, you was right. You just got to put one of them line thingies. There you go. I figured that was it, but I wasn't sure. And we're back. What's up? Hey, how's it going? How far did you get? Uh, we have one more fact, and then Ooh, are we supposed to write have... them or just say like the facts and then put a picture? Say that again one more time. So like we got the facts, right? Yeah. Are we just supposed to put a picture and that's it, or are we yeah, supposed the... to like, tell you about the fact? Well, you probably should tell me a little bit about the fact, don't you think? Like a sentence or two. Yeah, All and right. then just a. You know, three or four pictures that kind of represent what your what the facts kind of are representing. Uh, okay. All right. I might give you twenty minutes on Monday to like get all the details worked out. Um, but we'll wait and see. Uh, okay. Does anyone have any further questions? Remember that the demo is due Friday. Your um. Breakfast article PowerPoint is due Wednesday of next week. You might have a little time on Monday to work on it. I can't guarantee a ton. So, um, you know, just try to work on it periodically throughout the weekend, and then you won't have to worry about it next week. You'll be good to go. If you are working with an individual, you guys need to figure out who's going to do what slide, who's going to say what. So it's kind of a smooth transition as we go through not – on Mike, hey, you read this one, or I'm gonna do that one. You know, it should already be set. Maybe you could even put on the slide who's responsible for reading it. Um, and always read stuff through because you wanna make sure that it makes sense, okay? And not have misspellings or words that don't make sense, that kind of thing. So other than that, um, get your work done Friday for sure, and then next week we'll work on again uh, the PowerPoint if we have time. All right, catch you later. Stay if you have anything that you would like to say. But, yeah, try to do a greeting in the uh, chat with see you later, hasta la vista, give me an emoji, what have you. I got you. Hold up. Okay, cool. All right, I'll see you Peace later. Out. All right, see ya. Bye, Ember.
Is there a certain amount of slides we have to have? You already asked me that question. I did? <laughs> yeah, do you remember the answer? No, there's there's no amount. No, nope. Okay. So just as long as you cover the topic well enough. Okay. Okay. All right. Bye. Bye. Red Rico, what are you doing? What does your cartoon say? Something up for the do something call on me list. Do not call me list. Something don't call on me list. <laughs> oh, you're cracking me up. All right. Well, tell Nolly she needs to start talking because when she doesn't talk to me, I don't think she's really there. So is she, she either isn't really there or she just doesn't want to talk. I don't know which it is. Do you know? All right, okay. Okay. All right. We'll talk to you guys later. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you back here on Monday.